Anyway, we have a phone. Who would be calling at this hour? Where's the eject button? Uh, stop, pause. I don't see an eject button. I don't... Come here. I want to listen. I want to listen. Could we put him in there? No! No! Ah! Going through. It's fine. Um, how do I... How do I open this? Ah, perfect. This tune is bopping hard. I want menu music, damn it. Oh. Hello. Ninety-three. We'll try that. I don't think 93 is going to answer. Yes, yes, no worries. Okay, so the next one is actual brain surgery. Okay, now... They do call me a bit of a brain surgeon, you know. So, it's not that surprising that they would want me to perform brain surgery. Now, Bob, a very, very, very unlucky patient, might I add. Now, he started playing Fortnite, okay? So, we've got him back in, we've rushed him back in, okay? And you see, he's coming out with things like hit the gwiddy and stuff like that so we're just gonna have to amputate the brain now unfortunately for Bob's particular scenario um, he does appear to somewhat be in the dark now there's also smash stuff in my office so maybe just maybe we've done this under the cover of night Okay, because realistically, Bob should not be in this hospital. Okay, realistically, there is nothing, and I mean nothing, wrong with Bob. Okay, but he likes Fortnite. So as far as I'm concerned, there is something wrong. So after hours, after doing his kidneys, and him asking me if I could spare him some V-Bucks... I decided that the best thing for Bob, sorry camera, would be to amputate and get him a new brain. You see, because our friend Bob here is clearly got problems. Just give me the axe, damn it. There we go. Now then. Now, obviously, this is one of the more dangerous procedures. But it's fine, okay? Because Bob is going to be fine. It's only a little bit... Oh, crap, that was a lot of blunt force trauma all at once. Bob, don't worry, you're going to make it. Okay? Now, it does appear... That he might not make it. So, Bob. Um. Can I? Oh, I can. I can just snap these with my hand. Can 
Can I snap these off? Wait a sec. No, I can't just snap them off like that. Okay. What if I just... Can I whack these? Oh, crap. I accidentally hit him. Can I hit him in the brain? Look, Bob. Okay, I'll be honest with you, my friend. It doesn't look good. Maybe if I use something a little bit more blunt. Oh! Maybe if I go TF2 medic on him. He's done brain surgery before, right? He has done brain surgery before, it turns out. It turns out that the bone saw is just the tool I need to cut bone. Who would have guessed? Maybe the inventor of the bone saw. Maybe. But I doubt it. So we got to come down at that kind of angle. There we go. Now. He hasn't got a lot of blood. He has in fact got a brain though. Look at that thing squirming around like a worm. Now. The problem with brain surgery is. It's a very, very problematic kind of time. So we do have to be incredibly careful and keep jabbing him with the needle. I just jab myself with the needle. But that's fine. Don't worry, Bob. I believe you'll be just fine. Oh. I mean, he enjoyed Fortnite. We didn't lose that much. Well, technically, he didn't. This thing. This thing enjoyed Fortnite. And now it's been robbed from him. We got... We, we done it, boys. We killed the Fortnite one. So, anyway. So, anyway. That is how I lost my medical license. <laughs> but now knowing the fact that the real instrument of death that I need is not the axe at all stay there axe but in fact the vida saw or should i say bone saw from team fortress 2 now the medic from tf2 this is his default weapon okay his weapon of choice you might say okay and it being his weapon of choice makes me fairly skeptical of its usefulness you see because he is in fact a rival medic okay you wouldn't see medic going around with wings on because that's mercy's thing just like you really shouldn't see me using a bone saw because that's his thing guaranteed he's got way better options I'm much more of a bludgeoning man myself but I believe in the science where this could be in fact useful now he's only losing can you shut up in there please axe be gone there is a hammer in there I see um, it does appear that I have somewhat ruined the drawers but that's fine that's fine now then, we just have to gently saw away the brain just like it's a Bob Ross kind of video okay now, we have to get rid of the brain to make him believe that Fortnite isn't actually that good anymore. Okay? Oh, it does appear he is losing a fair amount of blood. But never fear, we'll jab him in the face with one of those doohickeys and he shall be right as rain in the morning. He is, in fact, losing a fair amount of blood right now. Maybe the bone saw is not all that it cracked up to be. I can still see him losing blood, but it's not telling me he's losing blood. So I'm going to say, overall, great success. Now, only losing one little tiny piece of blood is fine. Okay, we'll just get rid of all the loose bits for now.
I think I'm hitting the brain. We'll try and slap away as much as we can of this. Um, yes, we were in fact hitting the brain for a second there, but it's fine. It's fine. You see, as realistically speaking, our patient will survive this unless the controls decide they're going to do whatever the hell that was again. Oh dear, that's not great. But all in all, we are fine. Get rid of the, get the skull out of here, damn it! Okay, and now for the most dangerous part. Holding the light steady while I kind of unga bunga my arm in there to cut the old brain out, just like that. Now, a human can survive without their brain for many seconds, okay? Fortnite players have been doing it for years. But, we have in fact found a solution, finally. Now, our solution is fairly simple, okay? We have got this donor brain right here. But, to avoid this happening again, we're going to use some orange blast instead. He's fixed. No? Fine. Be like that. Um... Perfect landing, as always. Now, you always have to make sure that the brain is not smooth. You see how this one is all kind of lumpy? That means he's likely not to like games like Fortnite, but rather he's going to like games like Helldivers 2 for democracy. We have fixed this man. A D? What do you mean, D? D's fucking nuts. <laughs> I have a pen. Ah! Let's go. Let's quickly get out of here before the nurse comes and realizes I'm not actually meant to be in here. Oh, wait, I press restart. The Bob, you like hell divers too, okay? I don't need to do brain surgery on you again. He's already had brain surgery done. You see, I put him back together. You saw how his skull was all one. That's because he now likes hell divers too. <laughs>